All right, the problem says the total volume of seawater on Earth is 1.5 times 10 to the 21st liters. Seawater is 3.1% sodium chloride or salt by mass and its density is 1.03 grams per milliliter. Calculate the total mass of sodium chloride in kilograms and in tons. This is a dimensional analysis problem, a semi-complicated one, where we're going to start with 1.5 times 10 to the 21st liters being the total volume of seawater on Earth. We're going to start with that and we're going to convert to the total mass in kilograms of salt or sodium chloride, NaCl, that's in the seawater. So let's first look at the different relationships that we're going to need to solve this problem. So we're starting with liters. Now the problem gives us the density of seawater. It's 1.03 grams per milliliter. We're going to need that density to convert from milliliters or volume to grams or mass. So the density allows us to convert from volume to mass or vice versa. So we're going to need that at some point. Now the units for this density are in milliliters and I'm starting with liters. So the first step we're going to need to do is convert those liters to milliliters. So to do that I'm going to need to know okay how many liters equal how many milliliters. One way to represent that relationship would be that one liter equals 1,000 milliliters. Okay, so now we're at milliliters and now we can use the density. The density is 1.03 grams per milliliter. That means that 1.03 grams equals one milliliter. So using that relationship, that density, we can get to mass, though there's something we have to take into consideration. The problem says that seawater is 3.1% sodium chloride. So not all of seawater is sodium chloride, is salt. So we need a relationship between the mass of seawater and the mass of salt in the seawater. So if seawater is 3.1% sodium chloride, if we had say 100 grams of seawater, that would be exactly 3.1 grams of salt, of NaCl. So we can use that relationship to get us to mass of sodium chloride only. And then lastly, for the first part of the problem, they want the mass of sodium chloride in kilograms. So since we have grams currently, we need to know, okay, how many grams equal how many kilograms? And one example of that relationship would be that a thousand grams is one kilogram. Okay, so we have all the relationships we need to solve this first part of the problem. So first step, First conversion factor, let's put our fraction bar with parentheses. What are we going to use for this first step? Well, we're starting with liters, so liters will go on the bottom, and then milliliters is going to go on top because we know the relationship that one liter is a thousand milliliters, so a thousand will go up top with milliliters, and one will go on the bottom with liters, and after we do this step, liters would cancel out. So second step, so another fraction bar with parentheses. We're gonna use the density where 1.03 grams is equal to one milliliter. Milliliters is on the bottom because that's where we're at currently with our units, one milliliter. And then 1.03 grams will go on top and then milliliters would cancel out. So third step, we will use our third relationship where if we had 100 grams of seawater, that would be 3.1 grams 
of NaCl. So we're currently at grams of seawater. So 100 grams goes on the bottom. And then on top, we're going to get grams of salt of NaCl. And that would be 3.1 grams. Okay, grams of seawater will cancel out. And then last step, we want to convert those grams of salt to kilograms. So grams of NaCl will go on the bottom and kilograms of NaCl will go on top. And we know that relationship is 1,000 grams is one kilogram. Lastly, grams of NaCl will cancel and we're left with exactly what we wanted, kilograms of NaCl. So let's do this math in our calculator. You are going to put in 1.5 times 10 to the 21st. We're going to multiply by the top of each conversion factor and divide by the bottom. And we're going to skip anything that's a 1. We're going to multiply by the top of the first conversion factor. That would be a 1,000. We will multiply by the top of the second. So 1.03. We will multiply by the top of the third conversion factor, 3.1. And then we will divide by the bottom, which is 100. And then we will divide by the bottom of the fourth conversion factor, which is 1,000. We'll hit equals, and you should get somewhere around 4.7895 times 10 to the 19th. Let's round that to two significant figures. So that would be 4.8 times 10 to the 19th. And that is kilograms of NaCl. So this problem wanted both kilograms and also wanted tons. So we can take a decent amount of this problem and repurpose it for the next part. We're actually going to take from the beginning to the end of the third step. We're gonna take all of that and use that again. So let's rewrite that. 1.5 times 10 to the 21st liters multiplied by our first step, 1,000 milliliters over one liter. Okay, second step, 1.03 grams over one milliliter. And then third step, 3.1 grams of NaCl per 100 grams of seawater. So we're gonna start the exact same way as the last problem, except instead of converting to kilograms, the problem wants tons. So we're gonna use the two relationships that the problem gives us. If we cancel out our units down here, liters cancel, milliliters cancel, grams cancel, we are at grams of NaCl. So where can we go from there? Well, we know that one pound is 453.6 grams. So that is gonna be the next step. So another conversion factor. And we have grams of NaCl on top. So grams is gonna go on the bottom of NaCl and we can go to pounds using that relationship. One pound is 453.6 grams. So at this point, grams of NaCl would cancel, we would be at pounds, and then we could use the last relationship of pounds to tons to get us to our final answer. So one more conversion factor, one more step, where we're gonna get rid of pounds and we are going to convert to tons. Okay, what's the relationship between pounds and tons? 2,000 pounds is one ton. And that should get us where we want. So pounds cancel out and we are left with tons. Okay, let's do the math. How many tons? Well, in your calculator, you're gonna put 1.5 times 10 to the 21st. Again, we're gonna multiply by the top and divide by the bottom of each conversion factor, skipping anything that's one. 
So we're gonna multiply by 1000. We're going to multiply by 1.03, multiply by 3.1, divide by 100. And then here is where it's different from up above. We're going to divide by 453.6 and then divide by 2000. Okay, let's hit equals. And in your calculator, you should get somewhere around 5.2794 times 10 to the 16th. Let's round that to again, two significant figures, and we would get 5.3 times 10 to the 16th, and that is in tons, again, of NaCl, salt, sodium chloride. All right, so final answer. What is the mass of sodium chloride in all of seawater on Earth? Well, in kilograms, that would be 4.8 times 10 to the 19th. And for tons, that would be 5.3 times 10 to the 16th. All right, if you want to see another example, click in the top right. Please like this video if it helped you in any way. Feel free to look in the doobly-doo below for additional help and resources. Please subscribe and ring the bell to get notified for new videos, and thank you, thank you so much for watching.